Jesus said, If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on you do know him and have seen him. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. You're very welcome to Holy Trinity Church, Ockram, for this online service as we celebrate the fifth Sunday of Easter. We come to God as one from whom no secrets are hidden to ask for his forgiveness and peace. Lord God, you raised your Son from the dead. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, through you we are more than conquerors. Christ, have mercy. Holy Spirit, you help us in our weakness. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 7, beginning to read at verse 55. Standing before the high priest and the council, Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they covered their ears and with a loud shout all rushed together against him. Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he died. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Gospel according to John, chapter 14, beginning at the first verse. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go and prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, and I will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May I speak in the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Imagine what it would be like to witness firsthand the glory of God, to know deep within yourself the presence and the power and the purposes of God. That would change everything, wouldn't it? The way you live day to day in the middle of life, joys and stresses. 
begin to reconnect with your oneness in God and let that steer you even through life's most bitter storms. That seems to be the experience that Jesus is speaking about in today's Gospel when he says, I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But the incredible thing about our scriptural witness is that that sense of oneness with God and rootedness in God is not something that begins and ends with the life and death of Jesus Christ. That there is an invitation offered to each of us to experience for ourselves the glory of God, our oneness with God, an invitation which Jesus offers to each one of us. In this Easter season, we are encouraged to remember the incredible acts of the apostles as they learn for themselves that sense of oneness with God, which was possible for them through their experiences of Jesus Christ. And we hear too of the incredible and unimaginable things that God did through them, even as they suffered incredibly challenging circumstances. We heard about Stephen in today's first Bible reading. We hear how through his own experience of oneness with God through Christ, he was able to give glory to God even in the awful circumstances of his own death. And that even in that moment, he was able to become a channel of God's peace. As an Easter people, the same invitation is made to each one of us to discover for ourselves the oneness that we have with God, to find our whole lives rooted in him as Christ's life was. And even though the doors of our churches are closed at this time, as we learn to be guided by that spiritual reality, then God can continue to do incredible and unimaginable things in the world, in us and through us, to God's glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. And so let us pray. Lord Jesus, you are our way, our truth and our life. Hear the prayers which we offer for your church throughout the world. Even as the doors of our churches remain closed, give to us that pure spiritual food which we need so that our lives may be rooted ever deeper in you day by day. Help us to discover for ourselves the oneness which we have in God through you that we may become witnesses to your glory and channels of your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you are our way, our truth and our life. Give to the leaders of the world the wisdom to find a way safely forward through this pandemic. Guide each step which we take as we seek to exit the current lockdown measures. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you are our way, our truth and our life. We pray that you will help those working in education to find a way forward for leaving cert students at this time. We pray for all our young people, remembering especially our school leavers, asking that you will give them peace and purpose clarity and hope in the road ahead. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you are our way, our truth and our life. In you, our troubled hearts are eased and we are enfolded in your love. Hear our prayers for all who are in need of your hope and peace this day, as we pray for families under strain, for people whose businesses or jobs are under pressure, for those who are in hospital or nursing homes, for all who are sick, and for those who care for them. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you are our way, our truth, and our life. You prepare a place for us and take us to be with you forever. Carry to yourself all who have died as we remember them and pray for all who mourn their loss. We remember by name Bill Joint of Loch Ray, who died this weekend. Into your hands we commend our spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. God the Father, by whose glory Jesus Christ was raised from the dead, raise you up to walk with him in his risen life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and all for whom you pray, and remain with you always. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ.